Hi guys! Hi to everybody! We are finally back after a few weeks with the support of Laser GLBL for this new product to test from Longer. They sent us a new Laser V1 model 20 watt and uh, it's a looks a great improvement from the last one that we tested, the Ray 5. And now we will see what we have inside of the box and start with the unboxing and the assembly everything. So. As usual, everything looks well divided and packaged inside. You can find everything that's necessary from tools, parts and components. As a first step, we start inserting the X-axis rails into the frame. Then, we put in position the wire before frame assembly. The frame installation is very easy. Two screws for every corner. First, we only put the screws in position and finally, checking the square, we fix everything. Now it's time to fix the belt. The system is very easy. As you can see, we put first the belt around the driving wheel and then we fix it in the shaped holes, the pre crimped blocks. After that, we adjust the belt tension, checking the free movement of the X-axis rail. We proceed with the laser module installation. This module has the focus adjustment integrated and this simplifies the operation during the job. Bundle wire installation is plug and play through free connectors. As a suggestion for longer, it should be better to have some more centimeters of wire to fix it on X axis frame and be able to operate the laser up to the opposite corner without tensions. For this, we decide to keep the wire free from X axis.
This model has the home switch, so we proceed with installation with the two small screws in performed holes and one connector. This model, as a special offer, arrives with the air pump that is a great help during cut. The installation is very easy and the air pump is powered through the laser main board, so it's possible to control the airflow with the laser software. The pump then is directly connected to the laser model with a silicon hose. The head has a built-in system to connect the hose to the external side and the air are driven directly to the nozzle. So, the laser is ready and it's time to move everything to the raw side of the lab to do some usual tests of cutting and engraving. We immediately test the emergency button that worked perfectly. The fire sensor stops the laser and moves back to home. Here we have Laser GRBL standard circle cutting test for 5 and 10 mm playbook. And now, cutting and engraving test with different speed, keeping 100% power and modifying only the speed. The result is great, and as you can see, the cut is very clean. The leather engraving is a really easy game and the result is amazing, looks like printed. The final test is a metal engraving on steel credit card. There is a stronger difference with the 10 watt laser and the result is an etching to the material and not only a color engraving. This means that it is really possible to cut a 0.05 mm layer of steel. 
For this test, we use a 10 mm aluminum base as a heat exchanger because working full power at speed of 1500 is very easy to bend the material in the dark areas due to heat power. 